And my name is Gina, and I am with Market Share. We're the Pacific Northwest reps uh, for Lutron. And Lutron does the catcher lighting system. And then we also have samples and stuff upstairs. So after this quick Q&A, um, we'll be cycling through another full demo of the lighting system so you can learn a little bit of the ins and outs of it. Um, and then uh, feel free to be thinking of any questions. Um, and then hopefully I'll, myself and some other colleagues sprinkled throughout the crowd here can answer your questions too. Um, but without further ado, do right. you want to introduce yourself? Sure. I'm Michael Orwick, a local painter, live in Beaverton, and I've been lucky enough to be showing in Art Elements for a long time, at least 10, 12 years now. And uh, very excited, and I'm honored that, um, that these guys have invited me to show my art and be one of the first artists in the area. And uh, Benjamin here brought in some lights to my studio to uh, show off and ruin everything for me. <laughs> <laughs> and it was instantaneous uh, amazing. It's, I've always told people that, uh, because I paint in a lot of translucent layers, that my paintings do change throughout the day. Like in the morning light, it's a different painting than in the midday light. And with these lights being able to actually see the full day's light spectrum on them is fantastic. I absolutely can't wait to get some of these into my studio and be using them as part of the working process. But um, anyways, um, yeah, thank you. So because Michael touched on kind of um, the light spectrum that we can create, Catcher is a fully tunable white light. Um, and so with that, what we can do, it's called the natural show. And we've programmed it to start very warm and then it'll get bright like the high noon sun and then slowly start to tune off. We've programmed it into a 45 second uh, duration. However, in normal residences, you would program this and you could say, okay, I like to get up around 6.30 and it could start then and then let me have the sun set around 7, which is actually very important for us here <laughs> in the Pacific Northwest when the night is dark and full of terrors. So <laughs> I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of what that looks like. And we will start here with a bright, bright white light. And then it's going to naturally start to dim down. Let's see if we can start that off. It's going to get bright again here as you get into the late morning. And then the bright high noon of the afternoon sun. And so it's probably like 45,000 Kelvin. We can touch on Kelvin later. And then it will slowly start to dim and get a little bit warmer, just like the sun. And you can notice how the colors start to shift and even the reflection in the water. And Michael pointed out too how like the little bones down below, because you can kind of almost see the lights come on. That's a good selling piece for that. Oh yeah. <laughs> No, I mean, yeah, it, absolutely. And again, that like, present, like when I give that little talk, now I can actually show it. Yeah. And then just, yeah, what is your favorite time? Because some people are like, oh, I love having my coffee and looking at your painting in the morning. It's very relaxing. Other people are like, I like having my wine in the evening and looking at your painting. It's very relaxing. <laughs> so now we can just set it at permanent wine time for you. <laughs> <laughs> now, a quick question for you. Yeah. When you first saw this, when I brought it to your studio, yep. what was like one of the first thoughts that you had? I mean, initially it was like, oh, it's kind of complicated. It comes with a little programmable box. And then Benjamin pulled it out and it was really simple to use. And then, yeah, just, we didn't set up any even good lights. We were just doing a handheld bulb and kind of moving it around. And I mean, instantaneously, I'm like, oh, what does it look like on this painting? Oh, what about this painting? It was so fun. And um, yeah, my initial thoughts were, yeah, this can really change the game for me. And both in presenting the work, I mean, mostly in presenting the work, but also I can't wait to like try painting under different lights yeah. and seeing what does. So, yeah. And when you, a lot of fun. as you kind of imagine that process of painting under Ketra, right? Like showing your painting finished under Ketra is one thing, but actually painting it under that it would be what? is completely different. Yeah, I haven't done that yet. <laughs> so that's going to be version two. We're yep. gonna, yeah, no. we'll See you guys back. in a couple months. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So quickly, I'm also another proprietary. Because uh, Ketra, it, it's like um, has these little chip in there, and on that chip there's 16 diodes, and on those 
there's gonna be um, some RGB and then some white little diodes. And because we've combined all of those, we have a thing called vibrancy. And what vibrancy does is it actually will be able to pull out some of the colors. It's gonna remix that white light so you can pull out some of the reds or greens and blues. So I'm gonna see here. When you say pull out, does that mean yeah. like his hands? Or does that mean what? Like yes. Okay. Good question. Good question. So right now you're looking at a like 95 CRI. Are we all familiar with CRI? Right, so it's gonna be your high end museum grade white light. Now when I click this button, that's gonna be vibrancy on. Now just kind of take a look at the painting. I'm gonna turn it off again and you'll see what I mean. So it kind of makes the pinks in the sunset a little bit brighter and the reflection in the water. So there it is on and here it is off. And so each painting is really going to pull that out. What's interesting though is when I turn the vibrancy on, it actually brings down the CRI because CRI is what it, like, like it naturally looks like. Um, but it's definitely something that's fun to play with. And because each of the light bulbs are individually addressable, if you have a client who's interested in Ketra, they could have some artwork programmed with high CRI, but their down lights and task lights don't have to have on because it can be fatiguing to the eye. Mm -hmm. um, and you've probably seen it on some other paintings here too. And then one last thing we want to color is color, which you wouldn't normally think to put like a colored light on your Yeah, but I painting. sure had fun doing it. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see if we can get that here. So this is a light dimmed blue. And we'll play a little bit more with light upstairs as well. And then I'll turn it off as well. And you can keep playing and so Ketra actually has access to 16.9 million colors. I didn't know that or that. Did you know that? I want to see them all though. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Everyone's going to some cheers. Okay. More wine. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, you have access to those. You can actually, um, is Scott here? Yeah. Something also is you can take a picture of a color and then match the lights to that. So I'm going to go back to the white light and I have him take a picture of maybe the pink or somewhere else. Yeah, and last like, weekend Benjamin joined me out at the coast to uh, look at some of the other paintings I have out there. And we were really playing with the lights and it was so interesting how you can take a blue painting and make it into a pink or a yellow painting and like parts would disappear and reappear. It was so wild. So I have just a camera running on the back of this iPad, and I'm actually going to pull out a color right from this painting and shift it right to that. So you want that pink of that sunset to really come out accentuated. You know, you can do just one spotlight on a portion of it. All of this is lit by just two lamps. That's it. If you look above us, so, nothing else. So you might have more. What's the name of this again? Ketra. K-E-T-R-A. So Ketra actually looks like that. It's not something you can put in a regular fixture, but it's those two. So it's the bulb form. So it's the lamps. Yeah. So, so you, you can put it in that. Yeah, I just put it in the existing lights in my studio. Okay. Yeah. yeah, as long as there's an E26 base, you can twist Add it in. Add some screw it. Yeah. And what are the sizes available? Uh, there's multiple form factors, and we can go over that upstairs because we have a few more examples. Okay. Um, but this only works off of the Ketra uh, Homeworks processor. So we can touch a little bit on that more, too. And your multiple integrator. Yes. Yeah. And so, yeah. Do we all want to thank Louis AV tonight. Um, they're the ones who provided the food and the Ketra lighting system. And um, if you haven't, this is Benjamin, and he is their lighting specialist at Lewis AV. And thank you for everyone for coming.